Okay guys, I hope you're doing fine. Um, this is Debian. I'm coming live from Uganda and uh, actually at the airport. I'm getting ready to go. I've already checked in and uh, it's gonna be morning flight. My flight is at 9.30 a.m. So, um, traveling to West Africa be specific, Monrovia. Monrovia is the capital city of Liberia, guys, and uh, it's uh, kind of emotional. I just don't want to talk about it right now. That will be a story for another day. Thanks. I'm going to take you along with me in this journey. We are going to travel together up to Liberia, so you can know, um, so you can know how it goes. Yeah. Last time when I went, I went with a, uh, I slept in Nairobi, but this time I got a direct flight. In this video, I'm going to uh, share with you the requirements, uh, just in case you want to travel to West Africa, uh, that is Lyon, Liberia, Ghana, Nigeria, so these are the requirements that you need, you probably in case you want to travel there you need an invitation yeah from the family you're visiting if you're going for work you still need to show that and show evidence that actually you're going to work you also need a visa and um, the visa looks like this actually for the case of Liberia it looks just like this this is the actually because you don't have uh, uh, like the special I'm going to Liberia, we don't have a Liberian embassy in Uganda, so you have to get a document like this, take it with you, and then you get a visa on arrival. But you don't just go just going because you don't have a visa and get it on arrival. You need to just you have to get a document. You have to go with a document before you enter the country, show you present that document and then they give you the visa. This is Liberian Immigration Service, Ministry of Justice. This is the document you need to enter Liberia. Liberian Embassy, then you get your visa on arrival. But without this document, they can't allow you in the country. And also, you need a uh, uh, yellow fever card or yellow fever vaccine guys you also need a passport of course that is the first first major thing you need a passport you cannot travel without a passport to uh, west africa yeah or liberia mm -hmm. also you need um, um yellow fever a visa it's like a visa, it's a paperwork, some kind of uh, form written on Liberian Immigration Service. Yellow fever vaccine, that is obvious. Without it, you can't pass via immigration. You also need a COVID vaccine certificate. You need um, the credit card. Yeah, so I have a credit card here to show that... Uh, I don't know that for what, but last time I traveled, I never had it. So we also printed it out like this, the credit card. I see it's a card, I'm not gonna show you the document, but this is how it looks. When you look uh, from the back of the paper, you can see it. Yeah, this, card, this is very important. In case you, uh, anyone gets this information, they can get any money that is on this card guys but this is what they require to have as well so yeah without these documents they cannot allow in in liberia or in any country in west africa in any west african country or in any west african country you need these documents to be able to be allowed in the country yeah so guys at immigration they are very very strict once you miss out on a document, they cannot allow you in. Let's say you miss your fever, passport, or invitation. Even invitation, little guys, they can't allow you in. You need to have that invitation from the person who invited you, where you're going, the family where you're going to, 
or anyone we invited in that country got to give you the invitation for the uh, check-in staff to allow you, you know, be able to board your flight. Otherwise, you miss out your flight once you don't have all the documents. There is no excuse. Here at Immigration Uganda, they are very, very strict. So, that is it. So, guys, I'm going to go out. Which one is the, the other one? Okay. Okay, I'm going to boat. slightly bumpy for the first 10 to 15 minutes due to a few thunderstorms around the area nothing to worry about we'll endeavor to make the ride as smooth and as comfortable as we can but please do remain seated until we have switched off the faster seatbelt signs for now sit back relax we wish you all a pleasant flight and once again a very warm welcome aboard <laughs> Safari and I want to make for Jomo Kenyatta, Jinny Nairobi. Shotaki Emma Jumbo and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. A very warm welcome on board KQ421. Fastest runs around the waist. Flip the fastest at the front and pull the straps to the end. Fastest runs around the waist. Flip the fastest at the front and pull the straps to the end. To inflate, pull the red toggles sharply downwards. If the jacket fails to inflate or needs topping up, blow into the attached tubes. A direct fright guys but i'm having a stopover in nairobi to board another plane that's what i'm waiting for right here so it's been a 55 minutes trip from entebbe airport to nairobi Waiting, waiting. We'll be boarding at midday and then um, everybody is getting ready. All the but it's coming with it in the I've been sitting here for almost but this one i'm just going to be around for just a few minutes 
and then we start boarding. Don't forget my I paid $1,300 a fare and 200 for visa. The visa in case, because for us in Uganda, we don't have the Liberian embassy. My host had to send me a document, a travel document, in form of a visa from Liberia, and I'll get the visa on arrival. But guys, without that document, you cannot be allowed into the country. So that document is uh, from the Liberian embassy. They have to send it to you. You print it out and then travel with it. Even without it at immigration in Tebe airport, they can't allow you in. So it's just that serious. So my fare totaled to 1500 1, for air ticket and 200 for the visa. <laughs> I think days are normally this is my boarding pass. Maybe the number at the window. Leave a comment and let me know, guys. I don't know. But this is one of them. At the window. So. Scene number 20. Check your own. 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 Just a few more times, guys. Scene number 20. 20. I think I need to be here now. Let me go there. Getting ready to board and leave Nairobi now. And also, guys, uh, what I forgot to tell you about. In case you have a flight, you have to go very early, at least be there two hours before time. Otherwise, if you miss the flight, you'll pay the fine. You have to rebook and pay at least like $300 or more. So if you're lucky, you pay $300. Make sure you be on time. Time, time is very important here. So we'll be going inside and that aircraft we are using is right there guys that's the very plane we're going to use to uh west africa remember we are still in nairobi and we are just boarding people have started to board they check you you go and board wherever they check you go and board actually they're calling numbers then you show the documents and then proceed to the plane I'm still inside here. So this is how they transfer them into another plane, you know? Just moving. 
Sometimes they can load them on a truck, sometimes you can just drive them. I'm learning. Something new. I learn something new every day. I learn something new. They already read my number, but I didn't hear it, guys. They have left me, so that's why I'm rushing to the plane to catch up with the rest. <laughs> So get let me know this is what they call what. You go through the uh, and uh, but this is where we are passing. This is kind of a solid and uh, we're going down this. So, our plane is my plane is down, down there, yeah, guys. I can't even take a picture. So guys, I'm going to reach there in the evening, maybe at five something. I didn't check on my Fred's career. Uh, I'll be there. It won't be late because we're leaving this place midday. I think midday, 30 minutes past midday. And it's going to be around eight hour, an eight hour flight, guys. I forgot I'm in a car. <laughs> Hello guys, some uh, passengers are getting out from Accra, Ghana, and uh, the rest will proceed to Monrovia, and I'm one of those that is going to be proceeding to Monrovia. So, one below, oh, we get in the air. Yeah. Okay, sometimes we have to pass down here. Yeah. But this time around, we press up, uh, out, up, to another route. Yeah. But uh, this is the main entrance, usually. This is the This is a really different. Wow. Extra, extra solid power. 
disconnected from the aircraft before reach the traction. Wow, that's question, eh? That's question, guys. I'm going to share my wedding part. How are you? Fine, how are you? I'm seeing I, I, if I should be... I'm, t I'm telling him, there's so many Kenyans, it's like I'm taking, I'm, you know? Okay. <laughs> I'm taking people out of our home. Oh, I know. Thank you. <laughs> I hope they come back. Yeah, they will. Don't worry. Where are you going to talk about? A lot of Kenyans going to Ghana. Ghana, Liberia, West Africa, generally. No. Okay. I'm going to Liberia. Yeah. I'm from Uganda. I'm from Uganda. Yeah. Uganda is beautiful. Hmm? Oh, it's good. Is it rain? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Good weather. Mixed weather. Sunny, rainy. <laughs> Last time I got a bad experience, and right now, just looking at the food, I feel my stomach is not ready for this food, guys. I don't know, but I'm not ready to eat this food. <laughs>
if it's Ghana guys, Ghana, Ghana is where to follow. Look at that. Eventually, I will suffer if I eat everything. Some of this food is not uh, too good if you're not used to it. And give your stomach ache, bad leg. Gonna gonna Accra, and uh, most people have come out. So you can see this. Some seats are empty. Very 
pancake and a cake guys yeah i also have some juice of water so that's what uh, they serve you basically basically if you're having a short flight it's kind of a snack yeah something to snack on and you fly travel in the plane do you eat the plain food my neighbor Jeff told me when he eats the plain food he gets dizzy me I get stomach ache so let me know your experience with the plain food guys do you get any side effect leave a comment Just, uh Oh, that was our plane, eh? So, so 
good thing we, we, we come out from it's called what? <laughs> <laughs> I just arrived, I'm in my room, and this is my bag, my case that I came with, yeah, so, see I just came in and uh, I even haven't changed, see, I haven't taken a shower, but, girl is here in Liberia okay this is my bag this is how it looks this is how I came and I'm here yeah. so I want to then this is my bag bag of course my dog and my laptop, my Bible, <laughs> Alright. this, the word of God doesn't miss, got to come with it wherever I go, yeah.